Trey and I are going to see wedding videos. Good morning everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today is a very exciting day because today Trey and I are going to see wedding venues. Well, one wedding venue. We have two scheduled for the weekend, but it's our first time going to see a venue, so it's really, really exciting. Um, and yeah, we need to head out the door because it's like time to get on the road, time you. Yeah. But I just wanted to come on here really quick and pop in and share that with you guys. Monday. Um, do not have to work today, thank the Lord, um, because it is President's Day. And it could not have come at a better time because one of the venues we want to tour um, only does tours during the weekday, which is kind of hard for me and Trey. So um, the fact that we got a holiday was awesome. So we are in like super convenient timing. So we are going there this afternoon. It's the second venue we're touring. Um, we toured the other one on Saturday and I didn't really like share with you guys what we thought. So I wanted to come on here and talk about it. I feel like this foundation is too tan for my skin right now because we're in the dead of winter. Yeah, I wanted to come on here and just share with you guys how we felt about the first venue because I didn't really do that. Um, pretty much we toured the venue and then afterwards we went to a nearby winery and like talked about it over some wine. And we loved the first venue that I showed you guys. <sighs> the price is good for what you're getting. Um, they also just make everything so easy. They have staff that helps with setup and tear down, which is huge. Um, there is a weather plan in case it rains. The aesthetic is absolutely just breathtaking. Um, it's got like old English vibes, which is sort of the look I'm going for. Um, and what else did we love? We loved the groom's quarters. Um, they were really cool. The bridal suite was pretty. Um, and they had a couple bedrooms for the bridal party to get ready in, which was awesome. There's a kitchenette, so like we have a place to put food as we get ready. Um, which is great yeah we loved literally so many things about it there's also like a golf cart that transports people like yeah there's just so many things that we love about the venue um but we did not sign a contract because it felt really silly just to like view one venue and then sign a contract now granted i have done some like really thorough research of venues in this area and we're only visiting venues that like really fit our needs so don't get me wrong like <sighs> there has been a lot of research okay my camera stopped recording um so i don't know what the last thing you guys heard but there's been a ton of research done to even get us to this point where we're actually touring venues um so so we're visiting another venue today um it was honestly my number one when i first started researching venues it is just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful i'm so excited to see it but since i have initially like researched venues i found out a lot of restrictions for this venue um that really is taking away from us deciding to go and use it um we still want to tour it just because like i think we owe it to ourselves to take a look at it um but i'm not really sure if we're gonna go with it one thing I've learned throughout this process that is a priority to me is that I really need some like a venue that kind of has the whole package that has like bridal suites, grooms, quarters, that has like the staffing to help with this type of event, um, which some of these smaller, newer events don't really provide. Um, so like, yeah, on paper it's cheaper, but like you're also pretty much getting what you're paying for um, at that point. 
But yeah, so I'm going to take you guys with me to go look at it today. I am still excited to see it because I think it's going to be really pretty. Um, I'm just not really sure if it is our top venue anymore after seeing um, the one that I already showed you guys today for, from Saturday. Um, I'm going to dry my hair really quick and then we're going to get back to it. Okay, I don't know if this is like a weird idea, so let me know in the comments below. But I had this idea this morning to blog about my wedding. Um, so I think a lot, of, like I think most people nowadays have like a wedding website. Um, I already know how I want mine to look and like who I'm getting the template from and all that kind of stuff. So like that stuff is decided. Um, but then like one of the pages I just thought about creating was a blog page, which sorts of like goes through the story of the whole process. Um, so like how he proposed, um, like going through the wedding venue stuff, like all that stuff. I don't know. I just feel like it'd be really fun to highlight the journey on the page because I feel like a lot of times you go to the wedding page and you, you go to the wedding website and like you find out like your basic details for when you're getting closer to the wedding but i feel like updating it and having something for people to come back to and read would be really fun um also i feel like this idea comes from the fact of like what i do in my normal life so like in my everyday life i work in pr right so everything in pr stems from a press release which is if you don't know what a press release is essentially like a news item that goes out announcing something and so I feel like I got this idea because I do work in PR I don't know I feel like it might be stupid I feel like nobody might read it but I feel like it also could be fun and something like really cool to reflect on as time goes on we'll see let me know what you guys think in the comments below I'm not like 100% sold on the idea but I do like it so my full-length mirror has a lot of stuff in front of it from the move but I did want to show you guys today's outfit um, so I'm wearing this black total neck from Abercrombie, these black jeans from American Eagle, um, and then these earrings are Kendra Scott. And then on top of it, you guys are going to laugh, but we're going to this like English Tudor-esque home. So I'm bringing my barber jacket because A, it's really nice outside, and then B, I feel like it goes with the aesthetic. Alrighty guys, so we are home. It is nine o'clock and we are tired. Um yeah, you know, the second venue was beautiful. Like the gardens are beautiful. But I think in terms of logistics, it's there's a lot of challenges. Um they don't really have staffing to help support. So like break breakdown and setup of everything would fall on. Um my family are like guests and they have a 9 p.m noise ordinance and like there's just a lot of other things that kind of don't really work out logistically for us so i don't think that's going to be the venue that we go with but it was like so 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 beautiful um on the drive home our wedding planner also sent us um the catering food options for the venue that we went to on saturday the one that we really really liked so um we took a look at that they look like they have a lot of really great food options which we're excited about and that was a priority for trey if you guys watched um that vlog you know that that's one of his big priorities for the wedding so that was really exciting and tomorrow we have a call with our wedding planner i have to go into the office in the morning but when i get back we have a call with her just to kind of talk about how the weekend went she was with us for the first walkthrough but not the second walkthrough at the second venue but she was familiar with it because she already has a wedding there in April um but yeah we have a call with her just to kind of talk about like our thoughts and the best way to move forward for us um but I am about to finish packing my bag for work get a little snacky snack ready for work as well and then probably go to bed because I'm super tired if you can't tell from my very low energy um but i will fill you guys in on how tomorrow's phone call with her goes good morning everyone it is now wednesday i ended up having a call with my planner last night just to talk about the venues from this weekend our thoughts um 
I don't know if I already mentioned this, but we for sure are not going to go with the second venue. There's just a lot of restrictions that would put a lot of pressure on us on the actual day of the wedding, and I want to enjoy the wedding. So for sure, venue number two is off the table. Um, there is one more venue that I am potentially interested in. Um, so she is going to reach out to them today just to get their pricing because I had a difficult time finding it. It is, I think, a little bit more expensive. We'll see. I'm not sure. This is all just based off assumption. So she will reach out to them, let them know um, that we are interested. And then we are figuring out what dates are available for the first venue. We really, really like that venue a lot, actually. Um, so potential, potentially going to be going with them depending on their availability. So that's where we're at. I am working from home today. And then tomorrow I am leaving for San Diego for some much needed like vacation time. Um, life has been so stressful lately um, with school. So I'm just really ready to like sit back and relax in some warm weather. Um, but yeah, so that's it I think for today's vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed going with us to look at venues. It was really, really fun. I had such a really great time doing it. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys in another video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps support my channel. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.